Hi, welcome to another video. So, Klein has gotten a pretty significant update with version 3.8, and I wanted to walk you through all the new features and improvements that make it even better for daily coding and AI assistance. One of the major things they've added is the Add to Klein option when you right-click selected text in a file or terminal. This is actually quite amazing because now you can just highlight some code or error messages, right-click, and immediately add that context to your current task without having to copy-paste or manually add it. It's a small change, but it makes the workflow so much smoother. Another really cool addition is the Fix with Klein code action. So now, whenever you see that light bulb icon in your editor indicating there's an issue, you can select Fix with Klein, and it will automatically send the problematic code, along with the error messages, to Klein to fix it for you. If you're a cursor user, you can also access this through the Quick Fix menu with CMD plus period, which is great for productivity. They've also added an account view for Klein account users, which lets you display your billing and usage history. This is quite useful because you can now track your credits and see your transaction history right inside the extension without having to go to the website. So, you can just keep an eye on how much you're using and manage your credits more effectively. But, let's have a quick look at the other stuff as well. There's a new setting for Klein Open Router called Sort Underlying Provider Routing, which is pretty cool. It allows you to sort which provider gets used based on throughput, price, latency, or the default, which is a combination of price and uptime. So if you're more concerned about speed than cost, you can prioritize that, which is great. They've also improved the rich MCP display with dynamic image loading and support for GIFs. So the multimodal capabilities are getting better, which is always nice to see. There's also a new documentation menu item that makes it easier to access Klein's docs. This is great for new users, or when you need to quickly look something up. They've added Open Router's new Usage Underscore Details feature, Usage Details feature, which is important if you're keeping track of expenses. One thing I really like is that they now display the total space Klein takes on disk next to the Delete All Tasks button in the History view. So you can see exactly how much storage Klein is using before deciding to clear your history, which is helpful. They've also fixed the Context Window Exceeded error for Open Router Klein accounts, with additional support coming soon. This was a bit of an annoying issue before, so it's good to see it fixed. There's also a fix for a bug where the open router model ID would be set to an invalid value, which could cause problems. And finally, they've added a button to delete MCP servers that are in a failure state, which is also good for maintenance and keeping things running smoothly without directly messing with the client settings file, which is great. Now, let me show you all of these features in action, and then I'll also show you the new and free APIs that I have been using these days. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground, where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, Back to the video. First of all, make sure that you upgrade to the latest version of Klein. So, let's start with the Add to Klein feature. 
If I select some code here in my editor and right click, you can see there's now an Add to Klein option. When I click it, it immediately adds that code to my current task context. This is super useful when you're working on a complex project and need to quickly add specific parts of your code base to the context. Next, let's look at the Fix with Klein code action. I have some code here with an error, and you can see the light bulb icon. When I click on it, there's now a Fix with Klein option. Selecting this sends the code and error to Klein, which then suggests a fix. It's seamless and saves a lot of time compared to manually describing the issue. Now, let's check out the new account view. If I go to the Klein panel and click on the account section, which is new, then you can see all my billing and usage history right here. It shows how many credits I've used, when I've purchased more, and my current balance. This is convenient for keeping track of usage. For the Sort Underlying Provider Routing setting, I can go to Settings, find the Klein Open Router section, and here's the new option. I can choose to sort by throughput, price, latency, or use the default. If I'm working on something where speed is critical, I might select latency, or if I'm trying to be cost-effective, I can choose price. This is great to use, especially with Claude, because if it goes down, then it will still try to connect with some other provider and use that, which is great. The improved MCP display is also nice. When I send a prompt that returns images or GIFs, they now load dynamically and display better than before. And if I go to the history view, I can see next to the delete all tasks button, it now shows how much disk space Klein is using. In my case, it's showing about 17 MB, which isn't too bad, but it's good to know. Also, there's this new documentation option, which will open up Klein documentation, where you can find all the details about it and there's also Klein Tools Guide, Prompting Guides, Instruction Library, and much more, which is great to have a look if you use Klein regularly. For some of the free ways that I'm using currently, then it's obviously the Samba Nova models, as well as I've been using Pastemax for using it with things like Grok3 and stuff for free. I have also been using Claude 3.5 Sonnet via GitHub Copilot Models API for free, as well as that makes everything in control for me in term of costs. For local models, I generally use Phi 4. That's majorly what I've been using. These are the major updates in Klein, and they all contribute to making it an even more powerful and user-friendly tool for developers. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.